With a few exceptions, I was able to use all scrap metal for the hardware in this vise. This first piece will be for the sleeve that is inserted into the bench top itself to accept the vise. It has a one inch inside diameter. These are one inch Acme nuts, which are being welded to a piece of flat stock with an appropriately sized hole drilled in the middle. Now we will lay out and then drill a hole to accept the sleeve, which will house the mechanism for the vise. Clamping a straight edge to the bench that is parallel to the bench top is helpful to guide me while I'm drilling the hole. With the hole for the sleeve drilled, now I need to create a space for the Acme nut to be housed. It's important that this space be created precisely to hold the Acme nut in place properly. The sleeve can now be driven into its home. A one inch piece of Acme rod is cut to length and will act as the primary mechanism by which the vise works. The Acme rod is inserted into the sleeve and then threaded through the Acme nut that is housed in the back of the workbench. For the face of the vise, I will use a piece of 8 quarter maple as well as a piece of 4 quarter walnut. metal sleeve is inserted into the face of the vise to allow the face to slide back and forth on the acne rod. Again, these are a one inch inside diameter sleeve. After drying overnight in the clamps, they are removed and a recess is drilled into the back side to accept a washer. You will see the importance of that washer at the end of the video. More scrap metal pieces are used to create the handles of the vise. Die kim is placed on the faceplate to allow me to mark out the holes that need to be drilled to accept the hardware that will be used for the vise. A link will be provided below to all the tools used in this episode. I'm using a correctly sized punch to transfer the location of the holes to the front of the vise. After a coat of paint, it's ready to put in place. The handles to the vise are made of multiple pieces of tubing that fit one inside another to achieve the desired outside diameter of the handle. It is important to protect the wood surfaces while welding near the bench.
Dichem is used once again on the metal surfaces to make it easier to lay out the holes that need to be drilled to accept the bullet casings. A pilot hole is drilled followed by a hole of the desired outside diameter and then the edges are chamfered off. These are 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum empty casings that I have already fired and I can't say for sure that this is the safest thing in the world to do. Like I said, they've already been fired, but probably not the best idea. I'm now making the handle that will go into the front of the vise. On either end will be an inert bullet. Remember this is an empty casing that has already been fired with a piece of steel inserted back in to represent a bullet. This probably isn't the safest thing to do and I would not recommend trying it at home. The handle is welded in place and then ground smooth to a pleasant finish. The washer will be tack welded to the acne rod to allow the face of the vise to track uh, with the mechanism of the vise. 